My name is Ruth Wade and I'm here at the University of Leeds Farm at our Regenerative Agriculture Trial. And I'm stood here right between the cover crop here that has 10 different species in it that is designed to try and improve the soil structure, so reducing compaction, making a better uh, aggregates in that soil, better water infiltration and supporting soil biodiversity over the winter before we go into a spring crop next year. And we are comparing this to the next plot here that is a living mulch or what was an understory last year in our winter wheat crop. So we actually broadcasted these seeds into the winter wheat and it was growing underneath the winter wheat all throughout the year and then when we harvested the winter wheat we've left this living mulch growing and it's got different legumes and different herbs that are adding nutrients to the soil and improving the soil structure and we want to keep this living mulch going now throughout the winter and continue it into the next year's crops and beyond so that it's continuing to have these beneficial impacts on the soil and then we are comparing all of these to a continuous herbal lay which you can see just in the distance here now this is a gs4 mix from cotswold it's got loads of different grass and herb species that are there to design to improve the soil structure but obviously during this time we're not producing a crop so we're really looking at the impact of these different ways of farming on the impact on the soil the crop greenhouse gas emissions but most importantly as well, profit to the farm business. 